In the seemingly idyllic town of Mill Grove, where the air is thick with an unspoken tension, a Walmart store becomes the haunting ground for Emily, a night shift cashier. As the last customer leaves and the fluorescent lights flicker overhead, Emily is entangled in a series of eerie events that defy explanation. Strange occurrences have become a chilling routine in the store. Items mysteriously shift on the shelves, whispers echo through empty aisles, and an unshakable feeling of being watched permeates the air. The terror intensifies with each passing night, and Emily's curiosity drives her to explore the store's hidden corners. Behind a towering shelf, she stumbles upon an unused storage room filled with dusty boxes and forgotten artifacts. The thick air within carries an unspoken weight that sends shivers down her spine. As Emily delves deeper into these hidden spaces, she uncovers a truth that transcends the mundane. Unexplained footsteps and phantom figures become part of her nightly encounters. These are not mere spirits seeking release, but echoes of a past that clings to the very walls of the store. Haunted by these ghostly manifestations, Emily reluctantly communicates with the trapped spirits, realizing that Walmart holds secrets that refuse to fade. The spirits seem trapped in a perpetual loop, reenacting moments from their lives. Emily, now a reluctant witness to this spectral theater, becomes a custodian of Walmart's haunted history. The store itself harbors memories that refuse to be forgotten, and Emily must confront the chilling echoes of the past as she continues her night shifts with a growing sense of unease. In the deepest recesses of the storage room, Emily discovers a stack of old employee records, dusty and forgotten. The names within are familiar, and as she sifts through the yellowing pages, the faces of those who once roamed the aisles come to life. There's Samuel, a jovial elderly greeter who used to brighten the entrance with his warm smile, and Mary, a dedicated cashier whose laughter once echoed through the checkout lanes. As Emily connects the names to the phantom figures she encounters, she realizes that these apparitions are not malevolent, but rather trapped in a poignant cycle of reliving their most mundane moments. The laughter, the conversations, and the shared camaraderie of Walmart's former employees manifest as ethereal imprints on the fabric of the store. The stories of these forgotten souls intertwine, weaving a tapestry of lives that once flourished within the confines of Walmart. It becomes apparent that the unspoken language of the store is not one of terror, but of nostalgia, a chorus of memories that linger like a haunting melody. One night, as Emily roams the aisles, she hears snippets of conversations from a distant past. The voices of Samuel and Mary resonate through the air, recounting tales of camaraderie and shared laughter. The once chilling encounters transform into moments of bittersweet beauty, a spectral reunion that transcends the boundaries of the living and the dead. Yet, not all echoes are warm and comforting. Among the apparitions, Emily senses a presence that emanates a different energy, a shadow that lingers in the background, observing the spectral reunion with an unsettling intensity. It's a figure that seems detached from the shared nostalgia, a ghost within the ghosts. As Emily investigates this enigmatic figure, she uncovers a darker chapter in Walmart's history. Decades ago, a manager named Mr. Thompson wielded a tyrannical grip over the employees, leaving a legacy of fear and resentment. The ominous shadow that lurks within the spectral reunion is none other than Mr. Thompson, forever bound to the store by the echoes of his tyrannical reign. Haunted by the oppressive energy, Emily endeavors to break the cycle that binds Mr. Thompson to the aisles. She delves into the town's archives, uncovering stories of discontented employees who suffered under his rule. With each revelation, the tension within Walmart intensifies, and Emily realizes that the key to freeing the trapped spirits lies in confronting the oppressive force that lingers from the past. One fateful night, as the fluorescent lights flicker in a rhythmic dance, Emily stands before the shadowy figure of Mr. Thompson. The air becomes charged with otherworldly energy as she confronts the evil spirit, determined to break the cycle of oppression that taints Walmart's history. The encounter becomes a battle of wills, a clash between the living and the dead. Whispers of discontent escalate into an eerie crescendo, and the aisles seem to warp with the intensity of the spectral struggle. Emily, 
fueled by a sense of justice, channels the collective memories of the former employees, turning the oppressive energy against Mr. Thompson. In a blinding flash of ethereal light, the oppressive force dissipates, leaving behind a store that is no longer bound by the shackles of its dark history. The echoes of laughter and camaraderie resonate with newfound warmth, and the once chilling encounters transform into moments of genuine connection with the past. As dawn breaks over Millgrove, Emily emerges from the spectral battle, forever changed by her journey through the haunted aisles of Walmart. The store, now liberated from the oppressive energy, stands as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, even in the face of the supernatural. The spectral figures, once trapped in a cycle of reliving their past, find peace as their memories fade into the tapestry of Walmart's history. Story number two, the smiling greeter of Walmart, unveiling the shadows. In the dimly lit Evanston Walmart, shadows dance with the flickering light, setting the stage for an enigma that defies reality. James, the night security guard, found himself drawn into the mysterious tale of a smiling greeter, an entity that seemed to transcend the boundaries of time and space within the vast aisles of the megastore. As the last customer left, leaving the store to the embrace of silence, James stared at the security footage, his eyes fixated on the figure that materialized only in the reflection of the glass doors, the smiling greeter. This apparition, seemingly benign yet hauntingly out of place, became the focal point of Jamis's nightly musings. Driven by an insatiable curiosity that gnawed at his every waking moment, Jamis decided to embark on a quest to unravel the mystery behind this ethereal presence. The journey led him through the dusty corridors of Walmart's history, where the past lie dormant, waiting to be uncovered. The smiling greeter, it appeared, wasn't a mere figment of imagination or a trick of the light. Through meticulous investigation into the annals of Walmart's employee records, James traced the origins of the spectre back to a loyal employee from the store's early years. A human connection lost in time, now manifested as a lingering echo. The discovery, however, did not bring clarity, but further fueled the enigma. The loyal employee's presence lingered, not as a ghostly apparition, but as a living memory etched into the very fabric of the store. Old photographs revealed smiles frozen in time, capturing moments of camaraderie that seemed to seep into the walls. Guided by the benign specter of the smiling greeter, James delved into the hidden corners of Walmart. Instead of confronting malevolence or the macabre, he found himself unraveling a tapestry of memories. Conversations from decades past echoed through the aisles, creating a surreal ambiance that bridged the gap between the living and the departed. As James explored the store's history, he uncovered tales of community, shared laughter, and a sense of belonging that had long faded into the recesses of time. The smiling greeter, once a mere reflection, now became a conduit to the past, a keeper of stories that had been relegated to the shadows. Nights turned into weeks, and James, immersed in the spectral journey, felt a deep connection to the history that unfolded within the walls of Walmart. The store, it seemed, was more than a retail giant. It was a living, breathing entity that bore witness to the lives of those who had passed through its doors. As dawn broke over Evanston, James emerged from the shadows, forever altered by the revelations that had transpired during his nocturnal odyssey. The smiling greeter, now a symbol of Walmart's storied history, continued to welcome invisible patrons a silent guardian of the memories that lingered within the walls. The tale of the smiling greeter remained an open book, inviting others to peer into the mysteries that Walmart held within its sprawling aisles. For James, the journey had transformed a routine security guard into a custodian of the store's living history, forever haunted by the echoes of laughter and the whispers of bygone days. In the heart of Kingston, where time seemed to weave its own tapestry, another tale unfolded within the vast aisles of Walmart. Sarah, an ordinary shopper with a penchant for late-night bargain hunting, found herself entangled in inexplicable events that transpired after the sun dipped below the horizon. One moonlit night, as the checkout lanes emptied and the overhead lights hummed with an eerie resonance, Sarah strolled through the store's hushed corridors. A whisper, barely audible, reached her ears, at first, she dismissed it as a figment of her imagination, 
a trick played by the solitary echoes in the empty aisles. However, as she meandered through the labyrinth of goods, the murmurs persisted, growing stronger, more insistent. Drawn by an unseen force, Sarah followed the whispers. They guided her through the sprawling aisles, leading her to the grocery section. A peculiar pattern emerged. The whispers intensified near the canned goods. It was as if the shelves themselves held a secret conversation that only a select few could discern, a clandestine dialogue that danced on the edges of perception. Sarah, guided by an insatiable curiosity that had now blossomed into an obsession, began to strike up conversations with fellow shoppers. She asked if they, too, heard the mysterious whispers. To her surprise, many shared similar experiences, recalling moments when the inanimate aisles seemed to come alive with unheard conversations, as if the very store had a language of its own. A community of night shift workers, stockers, and midnight shoppers formed an unspoken alliance, bound by the shared experience of Walmart's nocturnal secrets, they gathered in the break room a dimly lit sanctuary away from the prying eyes of the daylight world. There, beneath the harsh hum of fluorescent lights, they exchanged stories of the whispers that echoed through the quiet hours creating a tapestry of shared strangeness that became woven into the very fabric of Walmart. As the whispers persisted, some claimed they could discern fragments of conversations from lives long past. It wasn't the typical ghostly apparitions or eerie moans. Instead, it was a symphony of voices, overlapping and intermingling, carrying with them the weight of memories etched into the walls of the megastore. Others believed it to be the store's way of communicating, a form of nocturnal language that connected those who ventured into the quiet aisles after hours. Sarah, forever changed by her encounters, became a regular denizen of the late-night Walmart. She wandered through the aisles, not merely searching for discounted prices, but hoping to catch whispers of the secrets that lingered in the shadows. The whispers became a strange comfort, a reminder that within the ordinary facade of Walmart, a hidden language thrived, connecting those who dared to listen to the unspoken tales whispered through the aisles of Walmart. As her nocturnal explorations continued, Sarah's encounters with the whispers grew more intimate, she found herself engaged in silent conversations, feeling the weight of stories untold and emotions unspoken. The whispers became a living entity, a mysterious force that wrapped around her like a cloak, offering glimpses into the intertwined histories of those who had walked the aisles before her. The break room discussions evolved into a shared exploration of the whispers' depths. Night shift workers, stockers, and devoted midnight shoppers joined forces, forming a close-knit community, bonded by the ethereal connection they shared with the store. The once silent aisles of Walmart now echoed with the sounds of hushed conversations, laughter, and the rustling of products on shelves, a nocturnal symphony conducted by the whispers themselves. In the heart of Kingston, where time wove its own tapestry, Walmart stood as a living entity, breathing with the collective memories of those who listened to its whispers. The ordinary facade gave way to a realm of secrets, untold stories, and a language that transcended the spoken word. Sarah, now a custodian of the nocturnal lore, continued her late-night expeditions, navigating the aisles as if she were an ambassador between the living and the whispers that dwelled within the silent embrace of Walmart. Night Watch at Walmart. In the quiet, unassuming town of Crestwood, Walmart stood like a beacon of commerce during the day. Yet, as the sun dipped below the horizon, it transformed into a different entity altogether. Jake, the night security officer, tasked with safeguarding the store's secrets, found himself at the epicenter of an unsettling tale that unfolded during the nocturnal hours. The hum of the fluorescent lights served as a constant companion as Jake patrolled the empty aisles casting long shadows that seemed to dance with the flickering light. Crestwood was a town where everyone knew everyone else, and the Walmart security gig seemed like a mundane way to pay the bills. Little did Jake know, the Silent Isles held stories that would forever haunt his nights. It began with the feeling of being watched, an uncanny sensation that crept up on Jake as he made his rounds. At first, he attributed it to the common paranoia that often accompanies solitary nighttime shifts. 
But soon, the feeling evolved into something more tangible, a presence that lurked in the corners of his vision. One moonlit night, as Jake scrutinized the surveillance footage, he noticed peculiar blurs and shadows moving independently of the store's fixtures. The hair on his neck stood on end as he realized that these anomalies weren't mere glitches. There was a subtle pattern to their movements, as if unseen entities were navigating the store in tandem with his patrols. Determined to uncover the truth, Jake delved into the store's history, digging through old employee records and local lore. He discovered whispers of a custodian who had mysteriously disappeared years ago, leaving behind an unexplained void in the store's nightly routine. His search led him to a labyrinth of hidden passages and storage rooms that seemed to have faded from the collective memory of Walmart employees. One night, while exploring the forsaken storage areas, Jake stumbled upon a forgotten room hidden behind towering shelves. The air within felt dense, as if memories clung to the atmosphere. To his surprise, the room was adorned with dusty photos of the missing custodian and makeshift altars, tributes left by the night crew to honor a colleague who vanished without a trace. As the weeks passed, Jake's connection to the supernatural occurrences deepened. Phantom footsteps echoed through the silent aisles, and flickering lights seemed to respond to the unspoken presence that lingered in the store. The once mundane job now thrust him into a realm where the ordinary blurred with the extraordinary. Late one night, Jake encountered the custodian's apparition. A translucent figure draped in a Walmart uniform silently moved through the aisles, rearranging products on shelves and nodding approvingly at the empty checkout lanes. The custodian's eyes met Jake's, and a silent understanding passed between them, a nod to the custodian's eternal duty to maintain order in the store, even in the afterlife. The custodian's nightly rituals became an unspoken pact between the living and the departed. Jake, now an inadvertent participant in this spectral choreography, continued his duties with a newfound sense of reverence. The once ordinary Walmart had become a nexus between the realms, and Jackie found himself navigating the thin line that separated the living from the echoes of the past. Crestwood's Walmart, a seemingly mundane outpost of consumerism, held secrets that transcended the boundaries of the ordinary. Jake, forever changed by his experiences, embraced the eerie symbiosis that unfolded during the night watch. The tale of Crestwood's haunted Walmart echoed through the silent aisles, a story shared in hushed whispers by those who dared to believe that the ordinary facade concealed a world where the living and the departed coexisted in the uncharted territories of the night.